I'm Emmanuel Greer, bringing you the curriculum lesson for the week of December 13th. Our lesson is entitled, Call to Participate in a Promise, and our scriptural reference is Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Many people think that Christianity is just about being invited to a life with God, but in essence, it's about responding to God's invitation, both to live for God in this life and with God in the next. How would it make you feel if the people you invited to your gathering decided to never respond to your invitation? How do you think God feels as He invites us to respond to a life with Him? Today's lesson is about a very familiar story to us all. An unexpected and miracle pregnancy almost halted the wedding of a very important couple in the Bible. Mary had become pregnant, but Joseph knew he wasn't the father. And for many of us, this would signal the end of a relationship. Joseph had every right to enact some semblance of punishment against Mary for her seeming unfaithfulness according to their social norms. However, Joseph decided to privately and quietly part ways with her. Through the actions of Joseph, we learn a glimpse of what it looks like to answer the call of God on a continual basis. When we follow Christ, it should allow us to be able to part ways or walk away from people, even those that we feel have wronged us without retaliation. We also learn from the actions of Joseph that when we respond to God's call, we should allow love to govern our hearts and our actions as opposed to legalism. When we decide to follow him, then love, not legalism, is the standard and it has to be at the epicenter of all we do, especially in our relationships and interactions with others. This story also suggests that when we become as dedicated to our friends, family, and church families as we are to our favorite teams, despite how and when they let us down or disappoint us, we demonstrate that we have responded to the call to love in Christ. Lastly, it's important to note that Joseph responded to God's message with haste. His actions teach us that true belief is not just about hearing from God, but hearing and then doing what's been said without hesitation. Even now, God has spoken and is speaking to us, telling us to step out on faith, try something new, go do great things, pursue our dreams and goals without getting hung up in doubt and disbelief. We must not worry about how God will bring his promises to fruition. That is not our business. Our responsibility is to trust God and listen. We have to believe God enough to do what God says and to do it expeditiously. God has called and communicated with you. He has rewards for you from eternal life to fulfillment in this life, but in order to get it all, you have to respond. Respond to his call today with a yes. Again, I'm Emmanuel Greer, and I hope you've enjoyed this week's lesson. If you're enjoying these videos, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any lessons. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment wherever you're watching. And follow us on our social media channels at rhboydco and check out our website at www.rhboyd.com.